Nope. Nope. Hmm, maybe. Ooh. Ooh. What are you doing? Oh, hey, bud. I'm just looking for some recycling. For this week's episode of The Curated Crayon, I'm your host, Bree. We are looking through the recycling for some cardboard because our project is based on recycled materials again this week. Let's go have some fun. Boom! Shut the cover. Upstairs. That gave me a <laughs> bad. Carry this for me, it's kind of heavy. Haha, <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> it's not heavy. Mama's being funny. Yeah, I know. Now that we've got our cardboard, let me tell you what we're going to make. We are going to make cardboard texturizers out of that recycling that we went and grabbed. It's these little, little things, like little paintbrushes, but made out of cardboard. So what you're going to need is your cardboard, obviously. You are going to need scissors, pencil. You're going to need some paintbrushes, ideally a wide paintbrush. Some temper paints, washable temper paints if you're a kiddo. You're going to need maybe acrylic paints and if you're, if you're an adult doing this, but you need a paint that has like a nice fluidity to it because what you're going to be doing is you're going to need the paint to paint a piece of paper nice and thick. So you're probably going to need a paper. You can use construction paper or maybe like um, uh, like a poster board paper would work as well too. One thing I want to make sure I say, you saw me go into the recycling bin. If you're a kiddo, ask a grown-up for help to get that cardboard. Don't just dive in there. Um, so now here we go. We are going to cut oh, into little squares our cardboard. Because what these are going to act as when I show you how they're cut, is they're going to be like this. Little paintbrushes like this. So here we go. You take, pick up your pencil and your small piece of cardboard and you can make little triangles kind of spread apart for one style. So it'll look a little bit like this when it's done. And then you're going to cut those out. Sort of like this. Let me grab my scissors and show you. So you have your, so you're going to cut out your triangles really nice and easy. Actually just snip, snip. And you just keep going down the board. Put your scraps aside. Always remember to clean up after yourself. So then it looks like, like this, which is perfect. And then, say you have this other one, you want to have really tiny, close little triangles. You're going to go like this. Really close, cut them out, cut them out. Sometimes you have to pull them down too. It's just easy little cuts all down your cardboard. Just pull any extras that didn't come off when you first tried to cut them. Put them aside and then you've got that. And then the next fun one to do is just sort of like to make almost like a brush. So you just got to put some slits in it like this. Like you're making your own cardboard bristles. Doo -doo. Do, 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 do. So you can even sing while you do this. Do, 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 do. Hum to yourself. Or put some music on while you make art. I like to do that too. Here we go. So this I don't feel like you need a pencil to do. You just make lots of little cuts into the cardboard. Just like that. Just voila. So those are three really basic patterns. You can obviously experiment into different ones. Now I want to show you you're going to be like, Okay, Brie, that's great and all. What do we do with them? Now that we cut our little um, cardboard texturizers out, in case I forget what my project's called. Um, but, you know, I really don't do this for my audience. I do this for me because I forget what project I, I what I've given, I, I words. No, no, but. <laughs> I forget sometimes what I've decided to like name my project. So I actually put this up here for me so I can reference it. Cardboard texturizers. All right, now that we finish um, cutting those out, what are we going to do? We're going to grab ourselves a piece of paper, oops, which is either going to be something, you know, like a construction paper or a cardstock or a poster board. And we're going to get a rather thick paintbrush ready. And we're going to start going back and forth with our colors of choice on our paper. Because what's going to happen is we're going to paint this 
and then we're going to pick up our texturizer and we're going to run it through the paint and it's going to leave a texture to your paint. Sort of like this right here is one I was experimenting with earlier. So we have that. So here we go. I'm just going to go back and forth. Now, as soon as you're done applying the paint to the paper, you're going to want to start in with your texturizers because as I've learned the hard way, the paint dries rather quickly. So here, we're gonna, and I'm totally mixing colors here, just for a couple. Always have some water handy. And so, and always have, it's always good to have paper towels nearby too, I find. Just off your brush a little. And then we're gonna go right into the yellow. Cause the rainbow always looks cool on paper, rainbow of colors. And here I'm using just uh, washable temper paints. There we go. Rinse it. I always try to remind you, rinse in between. La, la, la. All right. Yellow, we need our green. I seem to want to sing today. Green. And then, you know what? We're gonna, I already dipped my green and my blue. We're just going to go for it. Like that. There we go. I want to give a quick rinse. Always fun to see what kind of muddy color you end up with in your water cup or glass. And then we're just going to dip real quick into the purple. And then we're going to see how our cardboard texturizers look in all this. We're going to take one and we're just going to drag it through left to right or right to left or up and down, whichever you prefer. Here we go. Cool, like waves. And you can kind of wipe off your texturizer on some paper towels in between too. This one's that brush one that I made. Like that, like that. And let's see. Oh, this one's the one that we did that was a little more pointed. So it looks like real jagged, like teeth. Like that. And you can make things in different sizes too. I actually did one of the brushes to have kind of thick and thin teeth. So it's see if we just go like this. And then also take the back of your paintbrush. Use it and make like circles or different shapes. And that is how you can add simple texture to artwork. And I'm a big fan of once these have dried, I like to cut them out, use them in other artwork, so just like that. You could even take and make a picture out of this with the back of your paintbrush. I hope you've had fun with this. There's lots of different shapes you can do. And you're going to put this stuff in the recycling anyhow. Might as well use it to make art. I hope you've had fun. I hope you go and make these, have fun with them. So make art, de-stress, good for kids, good for grown-ups, as I always say, and get outside. It is gorgeous out there. All right, see you next time on the Curated Crayon. Bye for now. I'm going to drag it through. As you can see, some of this is dried. Now that we've oh, cut it. Well, let me get out of front of the camera. <laughs> <laughs> Oops, forgot my cardboard.